Hi everyone, good to be with you again. Uh, we're looking at uh, the story of the man at uh, Bethesda who was healed by Jesus uh, in John chapter 5. We're looking at, we looked at verses 2 to 6 yesterday and we're just going to look at a little bit more of it, 2 to 5 yesterday. We're going to look at verse 6 and 7 today. There are times in life when we get stuck in a rut or we just get so used to things being the way that they are that our expectations drop. We come to accept what we've got and we, so we stop where we are, stop moving forward. Those two verses say this. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, do you want to get well? Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I'm trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. The man had been an invalid for... 38 years, we think he was paralysed. The way the account reads, it feels like he'd lost hope, that he'd given up expecting things to change. Others had perhaps benefited from the stirring of the waters, but somehow he consistently missed out. He'd reached that point where he's excusing the fact that he hasn't been healed. And it's not like he's saying it's God's fault, it's just that he hasn't been quick enough because he's on his own. Perhaps all, uh, he, out of all of those who were there waiting, was the one who had come to accept that this was his lot in life, that he wasn't going to be healed. And Jesus seemed to see that and gave him hope again. He said, do you want to be well? Ask yourself, are there areas in your own life where you've given up expecting things to change? Where you've ex stopped expecting God to work? Where... Your expectations have been reduced to an acknowledgement that it might work out for others, but that it's not going to work out for you. Is there a mat that you've been lying on for so long now that you no longer see it as a problem? Or do you see that in someone else, someone close to you who has lost hope? See, the thing is that with Jesus, there is always hope. There is always the possibility that he'll come and do something new. So I want to ask, do you want to be well? Do you want God to move in your life? Is there somewhere that you would really like to see God do something different in your life? If there is, then in the name of Jesus, take up your mat, your troubles, and walk. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would grant us hope. In those areas of life where we have lost hope, would you raise our expectations? Would you help us to roll up our mats, our troubles, Lord, and walk with you? We ask, Lord, that you'd come today through your Holy Spirit and work in us. Fill us again with your presence. Restore us, Lord, and release new things in us. Open the doors of opportunity. Put us right again with you. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.